Okay, guys, we are back with some more. Let's try this time. We're playing Methods, the Canada file. So, this game, um, developers actually reached out to me for this game, and this game is a mystery visual novel. So, you play as a team of eccentric detectives in a mysterious crime solving competition. To solve each mystery, you must use your team members' unique detective methods, refute faulty theories with evidence, and found out, find out the truth. So, first of all, um, uh, I'm not. Uh, how do I say this? I have no idea what this game is and what the and how. Like I've only seen screenshots on this, and you know what? Let's just try this out, shall we? Let's go for file one. So I'm not sure what to expect on this game. I'm just gonna go for file one, chapter one. Nothing was learned. Um, I believe there was. There is also a previous version. I mean, like a maybe this game has another. Um, how do I say this? Has another. Um, part the series with it because they are also um, how do I say this they are also working on another game if I'm not mistaken but yeah let's just see here I am not a visual game a visual novel type person so I will try my best to do some voice work I have no idea how to do voice acting I'm just a dude and let's hope I do this game justice because developers are gracious enough to reach out to me anyway the game master and you are my name is Larica Downs. How long have you worked as a detective? Probably not long enough. Very well, if you don't want to answer, no worries at all. What is your method of solving crimes? Um, is that something that is relevant? Yes. Hmm. It's a method I'd like to rely on. Well, move on then. But if you continue to be vague and skip too many questions, I can guarantee that you will be admitted into the contest. Contest? I'm not really interested in being a contest. You? Then why did you apply? Apply? This is an interview for applicants for detective competition. De detective competition? How would that work? I'm trying my best here, guys. I'm not really good at this, but... So far, the art style and... Like, all the trailers and stuff are interesting, so I might as well give this game a try, right? Detectives compete to solve mysteries in the hopes of winning $1 million. The mysteries are constructed by criminals. The final round is when talk def if, the top de words, if the top detective loses, the criminal gets walk to walk free. That is the contest you applied for. Does any of that ring a bell? So you're admitting to running what is clearly an illegal contest to my face? There's nothing illegal about it, I assure you. How do you get in here? I bet... Through the door. I thought there would be something interesting. Seems I was right. The door? All the doors are blocked without proper authorization. The only other way in is, is through our secret... <gasps> yes? A secret? Secret what? Uh... I've changed my mind. I'm interested in your legal contest after all. Okay, so what are we going to have here? I really do like some mystery. Maybe that's why I decided to check out this game. I'm a sucker for crime stuff. Like, how do I say this? Like, um, in Netflix, all those series that are, like, um, about how crime thrillers work. File 1. Chapter 1. Nothing was learned. The detective Larica Downs has entered the Canadian detective competition. After managing to make it through three stages, the fourth stage is about to begin. I believe I have missed some context here, but nevertheless, let's try our best. What the hell? Is this a 3D environment? <clears throat> um, this is your captain speaking. You know, I should have a voice changer for this, but you know what? Let's just try our best here. Okay. Um. AKA me, the game master. Who's ready for the fourth stage of the wonderful Canadian detective competition? Nobody responded. What is this dude over here? That guy's huge. We'd been in the plane, airplane for about seven hours. Ooh, what? 
We have three th stages so far, five rounds each stage. We have been told that there were 10 times in total. Now only five remain. Similarly, my team had started off with 10 members. But now we are a team of five detectives. Nice and compact. Nobody feels like saying anything. Not a problem. I won't bother you for much longer. We have prepared a place for you to rest before tomorrow's mystery. Remember to only disembark when your team name is called. I glance at the curtain divider. For some reason, the entire contest, the teams have been kept hidden from each other. Even though apparently there had been 100 detectives at the start, it never felt like it. Perhaps it was all a big lie and there had only been 10 detectives. There was no certainties in this contest. If I wanted to find the truth behind it, I would have to make a move soon. Thanks for flying with Mysterious Air today. We'll be landing soon. Okay. So I had 15 minute window. The only thing preventing us from slippy walking the divider wasn't a thing. It was a person. A person called the attendant who worked for the contest. And the attendant was fallible. Is that the attendant? Um, what happened? What? All detectives remain seated until landing. Um, how do I voice this guy? Sorry, but you can. Would you hold this for me? Oh, uh, well... What the hell? Who are these two guys? What? You again, Downs? Okay, um... That's... How do I say it? You again, Downs? I'm very sorry about this. Is she... Is she? You have one job. One job. Okay, this guy looks like it's over, so I'm just gonna do that voice. It's not my fault. I have five people to watch over. Unbelievable. Go back to your station. Uh, very well. It can't be right. There should have been, been more seats behind the divider. Why are there other teams? What was the voice I did for this guy? So trying, <clears throat> so trying to sneak a look at our premium flight coffee machine. A obnoxious smirk stretch wide across Bellhop's face. Another one's Game Master staff members. Sorry for laughing about you. Laughing at you. It's just you look really stupid right now. I resist the urge to punch out more of his teeth. Uh, okay. That's a bit rude of you. You're the rude one for barging in here like you. We'll see you in the next stage. Return to your seat. Have fun. That's my suggestion. The manager was always giving us suggestions, but they were really more like commands. There wasn't anything else for me to do. I've been defeated once again. I just wanted to see who the game master is. There's no point in to that. Every question will be answered during the course of the contest. The game master has his plan. You won't want to ruin the game, would you? You're right. I'll go back to my seat and mind my own business. Go, <clears throat> go back to your seat and hey, I, I was about to say that. See, I'm always two steps ahead of you. Bellhop. I hate you. Dun 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 dun. I would have to find another way to meet him. Or maybe I'd been looking at this backwards. Maybe I needed him to give a reason to meet me. Now that is reverse psychology right there. Thinking outside the box. And now we have landed. In Vancouver. Ooh, the music. Who are these fellows over here? I like this unique art style though. Detective Anodyne. Did they hurt you? Oh yes, my feelings are hurt. That's pretty humiliating for me. Detective Shrews. I thought about how do I voice this person over here. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do a regular voice. I'm not really good at this. I thought about stopping you, but you know who, how you are. Do I? How am I then? 
scary? What are you talking about? There it is. Ah! You're making that scary face again. This is my normal expression. This is normal. See here? Very normal. My recommendation is to get some rest. Your face should be cured by tomorrow. Thank you, doctor. Oh, this person's a doctor. Red, the red cross over here. You're welcome. In summary, nothing was learned. Well, Tad is out, still out, so what are you going to do tomorrow? So I guess this person is like a techie person over here because of this thing. But let's just save here just in case. Okay, let's see. What... Well, look at our team leader. Um, what is this guy? Um, Detective Tad? Ever since stage 3 sent, he'd been meditating. The bellhop had wheeled them into a room on the luggage cart. Um, um. He'll get up. But if not, I've got Modafino. Oh, I want some. Uh, yes, everyone does. I hope Mr. Tad will wake up in time. I miss her mild conversations. Would have been more entertaining on the plane ride than the in flight movie. Oh, yeah, that was the worst movie. We're missing someone else, Hasby. Where's V? She went off to explore Vancouver. She's never been. Ah, got it. Neither have I, have you? Yes. Isn't it nice? I've had experiences in Vancouver before. I think I'll just go to sleep. Me too. I have to stay up. There's this annoying bug. Resedrus had has a dummy argument. Blah 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 blah. I'm trying to recreate my own. Array of detective teams impossible. Me members based on correct mental notes from each round's deb debrief. Hmm, that that would be really helpful. Yes, it would, wouldn't it? But it refuses to compile. It's fine though. My brain works better at 3 a.m. <laughs> Good luck with your efforts. I've been working on something myself. Profiles for virus poisoners in the contest. I just need one more mystery with poison, and I'll know at least three of the criminals on the other side. Hmm, excellent. I was the only one who wanted to get the truth out of the contest. We are all working together. That's what it meant to be a team. Um, what is this? It's a moose? Oh my goodness. It's a detective. The detectives have arrived. Hello, detectives. Welcome to Graves Mountain. It turned out Tats did not leave his meditative state in time. But the attendance was required, so he'd been wheeled out by Bellhop again. We have a mystery waiting for you. Each team gets one hour each, as usual. Please step inside. I'm glad you showed up, you. Okay, so this guy has a muffled thing, so I'm just gonna muffle my mouth here. You're really glad. You mean it. I hope we can hear that. Uh, I do. Yeah, for example, you do. With that odd exchange, we headed towards the building. I was filled with just a full amount of confidence after all we had gotten this far. With this team and our skills, we'll say we couldn't win the contest as soon as we step inside. The first threat of the cursor is still here. I completed Chapter 1, Achievement Unlocked. File 1, Chapter 2, The Wolf's Meal. So yeah, I'm just gonna play like a few minutes here and there as to not spoil everything. Maybe maybe 30 minutes to an hour. Let's just see. Maybe until a certain chapter is pretty good. So at least let's stop right there as to not spoil everything so you guys can check out the game for yourself. After staying overnight in Vancouver, Team Tads is taken to the location of the first round of Stage 4. The mystery is about to begin. The Game Master was a mysterious character, though his voice was heavily filtered, his words were not. He almost had too much personality. It wasn't what you expect an impartial host of contest to have. I hope you're all comfortable. It costs a lot of money to rent this place out. 
You don't want to know how much it will shock you. I appreciate it. It is pretty cool. Why, thank you. Compile, 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 damn it. Somebody stop me from hurting this computer out of the freaking window. I swear I'll do it. The mystery is called the wolf's meal. Dog food? Is that the solution? Did they just solve it? The solution is not dog food. Here is the case file. Okay, now. Let's see here. Stage 4, round 1. Wolf's meal. Investigate the crime scene to fill in the summary. So, evidence missing. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, let's save here just... Oh, let's save here just in case. As always, find clues that every suspects to fill it in. Examine the victim, create an autopsy report. Best of luck to you, detectives. Okay. I hope you really have a fun time. Thanks, Game Master. Talk to you later. Alright, I give up. It's time to solve the mystery. Right, I'm not giving up. I'm just on a break. Right. So do you want to take charge on this investigation view? So our team leader is out at the moment. There's no new class, new Lapa. You don't want to? You want to do it yourself? So do it. Well, I won't argue. Let's get to work, team. Okay. Here we are. Okay, I think... And let's investigate this area first. A small lock security booth. It was time to bust the door open with a well placed. Perhaps we should return to this later. If you insist. Okay, right, fine. Um, let's go to here then. So they record everyone passing by the ticket checkpoint for security. That would be useful footage to have. It's probably in that security booth over there. Okay. The music though. Yes, Mountain, eh? Unless it's usually actually not. No, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Clock says it's 3 01 pm. I'm impressed you can read analog. It's not that impressive. Excuse me, that's an evidence? We finished our initial assessment of the scene. But there was still more to discover. Could so do so with the help of our method. Each member of the team has brought their own unique signature approach. I am an expert tracker. Been pointing the origins of locations, of objects, and people through clues in the surrounding environment. So simply know the entire travel history of every item and person interested in a case is often all you need to solve it. That is my method. Anodyne was a toxicologist and general practitioner. Poisonous substances, medicine, and autopsies were her specialty. To arrive at the solution of puzzle, she had to poison herself, excuse me? A stupefied sage, she was able to quickly arrive at the answer. That was her method. Struis was a cryptologist and a programmer. Computers and codes couldn't hide any secrets from her. The answer to the mystery was like a password to be cracked. That was her method. I never actually tad, but that, that was because it took too much time. Still, he had a powerful mind. Being a great team leader, when he wasn't meditating at least. V's method was the best quick way to quickly assess the scene. Her impressive visual thing abilities enabled her to imagine a crime scene at every possible angle. She was always the first one to find the clues we had missed. Be a team leader meant knowing who was the best fit for any given task. And now, it fell to me to delegate. Ooh. Decode codes and hack the devices. I think I'm gonna go with... Um... Code break. Uh, I think View should do her first thing first, don't you? Oh, uh, sure, why not? Now to. Uh, excuse me. Now to get a better view. Who? Navigate the. Okay. Navigate the crime scene. Map by clicking arrow keys. Search the scene with your mouse to find icons or collect them. Once you find all the eyes, submit button will appear. Sure. Okay. Hmm, what's this? Oh, 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 I see. Is that a bullet hole? Is this a circuit? Okay. 
what do we have here this is pretty spooky okay that was interesting and let's just navigate through every part here oh what's that okay find something that is out of the ordinary what's down here hmm anything else here How about here hmm how about the numbers how about this thing nope but this this should be something right it's a lock thing I bet it's somewhere here okay I have only one hidden left eyes hidden look for anything suspicious I bet it's somewhere here no eyes are up here which means they could be here somewhere Like maybe here. Just scanning, scanning through my eyes. I bet this this one over here is this one a thing. Okay, let's start from the very top, shall we? Nope. Scan here. Nope. Scan here. Nope. 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 Nothing here. Nothing here as well. There should be. Oh, what the hell was that? Okay. Thanks, View. Now we have more complete idea of the scene. Yes. So I guess it appeared to be a container of something called Lambo Cream. There was no list of ingredients anywhere to be found on that label. Which of my teammates could tell me something about this? I'm the toxicologist. Um, excuse me. Down the hatch. Click on the floating toxic chemicals compound to identify and clicking more than three toxic chemicals will start and restart. Okay, you. Um, what? Ah, okay. So you're a toxic one. You're a toxic one. So you must click that is not this one. Okay. Oh, what? Try again? Um, you are not. You're a non toxic one. So you must click that is not this one. Fair enough. Toxins identified. <laughs> I have determined this item contains toxic substances formaldehyde, ethanol, dihydrochloride, ethylene, diamine, triacetic acid. The amount of toxins in this cream are enough to cause the skin rashes or death if ingested. Gross. Thanks. Any. Uh, anytime. Oh, wait, that person is going to have a hard time. Um, okay. Okay, I already done this. But I think... Um... I have to explore the crime scene. Okay. Let's see here. The door security booth was locked with fingerprint mirror keypad. Maybe one of my... T yes, the hacker. Code break. I can crack this wide open. Rotate the thumb is picking the code entered from the outside in. Click the Wi Fi. Oh, okay. So this is like a guessing game? Did I actually get it? What the hell? 
Of course, the password must be in the password deck. This will be easy. But the note says, Can't forget, I'm trying to get the door locked. Okay. Um, desktop, passwords for cam footage. Okay. Trash, B Day card, PNG. 25 years, bona fit. Oh, it's one, two, three. Four. No, it's not that one. Oh. Wait, admin. Rotate the thumbs by clicking them. The code is entered from the outside in. Click the Wi-Fi icon to hack into Tide's computer and discover the code. Okay. Let me see here. Hmm. For cam footage, this is not... Wait a minute. Is there something here? That I can I can't see. Twenty seven ten oh six. Hmm. The birthday card is very suspicious. Looks like it was made today as well. Oh wait. Twenty five years. So I guess it's the birthday, right? How many numbers is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, this is the birthday. Okay. So 25 years. So this is 1988, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, 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 joke. It's 1992. Yeah, right, it's 1992. So I guess it's... One? Zero six and ninety two. Did I get it? Hmm. Clear code is entered from the outside. In. Okay, let's try it. Ninety two. Year ninety two. Right, then 10, and then 0, 06. Yes! Let's freaking go! Et voila! Hacking is really that simple, eh? Uh, no. This lock was created for the contest by the Game Master. That's why it was simple. I see. Chris, don't you know you're supposed to say I'm in after you hack something? I tried not to be a walking stereotype. What do you mean? That's what hackers always say in movies. You should say it. It would be cool. You know what? You may have a point. I'll say it next time. Good. The secret boot is now open. Let's freaking go. Okay, what's this? Apparently it's the birthday of one of the security guards. Okay. Um, cam drive. Unlock the security camera footage with the password that's found in the computer. Let's review it. I mean, let's review it. What does it look like, our suspects? So it must. So it must be the victim. She's holding a ski tab. One of the suspects. She's boarding a sky ride at 115. Okay. But the proof so. Hmm, so our first suspect came back down at 1.30. Let's make sure to ask her about this footage. The other suspect. She went up at 1.35. She went back up at 1.45. I'm very confused. Still feeling the effects of the poison? Yes. I need some solid evidence. I'd feel this footage was key to a solving mystery. We should review this footage again so we have interviewed the dummies. Okay, um. Okay, there's suspect here. Maybe there's poison in these sodas. Want me to check? No. 
We haven't enough poison for one day. Aww. That girl is crazy. Okay, I can't interview just yet. How about you? Oh, what's this? A leather bag was placed at the dummy's feet. It was probably meant to belong to her. Empty. Not fashionable. <laughs> <coughs> Poor Anna died. She was looking sicker and sicker. What a bad feeling about this. I'll come to Grouse Mountain. Or I might get murdered. Does the game master realize he's damaging Grouse Mountain's reputation? That <laughs> helps to realism. Good point. People still flock in the hiding houses. Maybe there's a getting murdered property is a good thing. Let's not go that far. Sorry. Oh, let's interview this person. Suspect. There were two items on the dummy's person. This name on the tickets must be her name. Mrs. Lamb. It's just enough to assume that. You need more. Okay, that the heck is creepy as frick. You need more evidence to talk to me. Yeah. Maybe there was something back in the main ticket area. Fair enough. Um. Um. Tracing the origin. Oh, it's my turn. Whoa. It's hard to see me your must quest to find the path I'm most likely for evidence. Okay. Okay, I bet it was from this bag. Lambo cream must come from Mrs. Lamb's bag. The Samaritan names were not likely a confidence. Okay, evidence added. Oh, I loved. Okay, I'm getting slowly getting into this detective game. I'm determining the origin of the cream. Okay, so I guess we go here. No, 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 no. I meant the other one. Let's talk to this weird robot over here. Someone's been murdered. Well, don't look at me. I don't know anything about it. I only just got here. The game master should really consider this way of giving us information. Yeah, creepy. The enemies were not very willing to participate in our investigation. This evidence would help refute their lies and give suspect to talk. The clock. Um, I only just got here. I think it's this one. And these two. She says I only just got here, but the piece of this showed we just prove, proves otherwise. Um, yeah, here. I just you bought two tickets, did you not? Did you claim you've just arrived? Nice one, Larica. Yeah, tickets. Thanks for reminding me. I'm not looking at this guy. It's too creepy, man. Time for my next ride. See you later, detectives. Time for the next ride. See you later, defect. Um. Uh, so I guess it's already 3, 1 p.m. Don't forget, you can submit more than one piece of evidence to refute a lie. So no, it's not already. Okay, fair enough. Now, of course, there is smart after all. In this situation, we use support statements are a bit condescending. So I guess let's do this. Your tickets are for 115, 145, and 3. Oh, and it's 3 1. You've got me, but I'm late for something else. I must be going, really. There are plenty of other witnesses. There's really nothing about me that should capture your interest. I'm just your average person, nothing special about me. Um, this one? Was it true that she was an average person? Yes, I found your game. Give me your name. It reminds me of another piece of evidence that we found. Um, Demi Lamb? Is this one? Just an every person who has the same name as a cream in their purse. What's your connection to this cream? I guess an average person doesn't have a cream named after them. I can see why you may have questions. I will assist your investigation. Oh yeah, uh, now we're talking. But she's the one talking. It's an expression. The bottom is a lamp chest. We could now meet her properly. What the hell? Is the thing zooming into her face? Not the so creepy. Okay, what is this? 
It's dreadful. When I went back up, I found Mrs. Wolf dead. She was dead. That's all I have to work, I guess. How about this? Mrs. Lab Entrepreneur at your service. I hate Sundays. I love muffins. I'm the CEO of a new startup company. Lambo cream for your elbows. It's gonna change the world. When does every Emperor meet say that? You're just meeting the wrong people. Well, it's probably true, yes. I arrived about 1 p.m. Okay. I must find I must be maybe 2 p.m. Okay. A lot can happen in our like murder. That's that was uh, that's what I was implying, yes. Now that we probably met Miss Slam, we could ask her about evidence in the case file. I'm not sure there's any evidence to ask her about here yet. And she hasn't already talked about that is. Let's come back later. Yes, yes. I know so you to worry me. You know, you should not have eaten that thing. Can we talk to you? You know you're still locked. Let's go back here. Not to do it. That doesn't look like our suspects, so it must be the victim. He's holding a screw down. There's Mrs. Lamb. Hey, there's Mrs. Lamb, boarding a sky right at 115. That appears so. Hmm, so Miss Lamb came back down to 130. Wait a minute. But she told what? She should have. Wait, but she saw the body at 2, right? It means there was actually less time for her to marry Mrs. Wolf, right? Right. Let's make sure we ask her about this footage. The other suspect went up at 135. This time went back up at 145. I'm very confused. Still feeling the effects of poison? Yes. Hmm. Okay, let's ask that. Ask you again. Ah, you found it. Yes, I came back down at 1 30. I was looking for the person I was going to meet to cancel our meeting. Um, okay. If she had said this before, she would be much less suspicious. I had nothing else to ask Miss Lamp except perhaps for some of her cream. Okay, so I guess we interview this suspect over here. I'm not the murderer. Please. Okay. Please don't send me to prison. Just leave me alone. He looks like a cool dude, but he's still a robot though. Anyway, he doesn't really want to talk, huh? Don't worry, he'll warm up to us. After we counter his lies with evidence, with facts. There were two items on dummy's person. Okay, what are these? I collected them. Mm. What was those? Uh, Harry Cabbage. His cash business card. He's an investor. 1.35 p.m. ride. Okay, fair enough. Feel, fr feel free to go away now. You won't be getting my name or what I do. Okay. Um, Evans needed one. I'll just show here. Harry Cabbage Investments. The card says Harry Cabbage, and it says you're an investor. Oops, hey, how do you find that? Well, it doesn't matter. I was just here for a meeting, not with anyone involved in the crime. Okay, um... I just needed three. Okay, I think we have... Um, okay, it shows here uh, okay oh meeting meeting this one oh okay so ah uh, okay so these three I think sorry nothing's working okay statements of the other subjects can be so evidence okay um, okay, Miss Cabbage Skyride. Oh, no, 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 no. Mr. Cabbage's card. Investor. 
and then Sea of Cream Company, and this one? Yes! So you're an investor. And Miss Lam is CEO who happened to find a body, and she happened to cancel a meeting today that she was going to have right here at Grouse Mountain. You put the two and two together, huh? Fine, I'll admit it. Still, there's no reason to be suspicious of me. She was found dead before I arrived here. Okay, she was found dead before I arrived here. No. 2 p.m.? But you arrived late based on the footage. Don't lie to me. Your ticket is for 135. Miss Wolf was found at 2. Alright, alright. I'm a bit suspicious. Yeah, I'll see. Seems like I can't hide anything from you. Very well. I'll talk. You did it, Larika. We all did. The buttons. The buttons of Mr. Cabbage's chest lit up. We would now meet him properly. Okay. I'm Mr. Cabbage. I hate long walks on the beach. And I'm an investor. I'm new to this whole investing thing. I was just here to have a meeting with Mrs. Lamb at the observatory. It's the restaurant at the top of the mountain. Her favorite place to eat. Hmm. Sounds like he's met with her before. Yeah. Apparently, someone was murdered at the mountaintop. Horrible. I didn't see that happen. Anyway, my meeting was cut short and that is horrible too. Evidence added. Okay. He sounds more sad about the meeting than the murder. Compassionate. I got there exactly 1.30. Okay. I remember because I thought I'd missed my meeting so I checked my watch. Makes sense. We asked Mr. Cash everything we was there to ask. Okay, where do we go now? We investigate the scene. Okay. The CEO of a startup company, fresh-faced investor, and a murdered woman at the top of the mountain. I think we should meet the victim in case, don't you? Cool summary. I liked it. Good job. Are you okay? You feel like a cool leader on this team. Well, I wouldn't say that. You would drink it. I wouldn't say it. Is it sky ride time? It's sky ride time. Oh no. So far we're well within the one hour deadline. Looks like Tad's for any signs of life. He was still completely still. He only tried to snap out of him of his meditation once. He did pretty upset. I want to avoid it happening again. Okay, I wonder. But we could end up wind up with no other option. File 1, Chapter 3. It's only logic. After meeting the suspect of the case, Team Tadsphere is to meet the victim who was murdered at the top of Grass Mountain. Final investigation is about to begin. You know what? I'm just gonna finish this. Might as well. It's the first chapter anyway. The scenic ride, but none of us were ap appreciating the scenery. Strauss was due to her computer cursing and typing, cursing and typing. Adan was breathing heavily in the corn. She looked like she'd been poisoned. Fair, because she had been by herself. View was facing the wall. She liked to do that. And apparently, even the press time was not enough for Tads to come to. Going on this sky ride was a, a mistake. This code is such a mess. Maybe I should give up. You're both complaining. We're both complaining a lot. Don't feel down, everyone. After all, we're going up. So the tuck is down just going up? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. What? Why was it funny now? It was the exact joke. Get me. Did a victim as soon as you can. You look bad. I think my dosage was off. What did you take this time? Strikes, Nin. 
It's my favorite poison. Should we, should we be concerned? No worries. I'm a medical professional. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Look at this person. The sky reached the top. The short ride had felt like a month of Sundays. After you. You're the leader. I insist. No, you first. Fine. You first, Strauss. No, after you. Re really, you first. I insist. I'm sorry. She ran past us out of the sky towards a nearby restaurant. How rude of her. With that and self, with the Alta Sierra Fort, we could be in trouble. But the timeliness was, was an even greater issue. So I decided to, we should press on without her. Looks like a good open space. Time to call my teammates' assistance. Um, okay, let's go for your perspective. Now to get a better view. Okay. Now we get the crime scene. Okay. So relevant here. Okay, there's one. There's two. Okay, okay, nothing here. Oh. What the hell? That's a lot of hidden ice in that corner. How about here? Is there anything up here? One more hidden eye. I bet there's nothing above here. How about up here? Yeah, around here area. Is there anything interesting down here? Oh, there. Okay, sure. There's something by the edge of the woods. Wolf investigator. Got it. Okay, this is creepy. The Game Master Speaker didn't seem like he was going to help us out. The grass mountain skyrides left every 15 minutes and took about 5 minutes to reach the top of, every, of the mountain. I hope I don't have to get some math here. Mr. Wolf's ticket. Paper spread from the snow, but it's still legible. It confirms the date of camera footage, 12 15 pm. It could be beneficial to use my method of ticket, but I need more information first. I will return to it later. What the hell is this? Looks like that we have to do a bit of digging. View crashed down and swept the snow outside. In no time, a dummy has been uncovered. Okay, this is creepy. That's a lot of blood, yes. The victim's eyes could not speak for obvious reasons, however, this was clearly Mrs. Wolf. Okay, so she was stabbed by a stick. By a skiing stick. Is this a muffin view? No. It's mine. Mm. Definitely evidence. Aw. There's the label about us as the observatory. There's a restaurant over there. Gavin's mentioned it. Right. And it's also where Andy had run off to. Hopefully she was okay. Toxins. I think it would have been the right person for this, but she wasn't here. I would have to find a workaround. It had to be possible. After all, none of the other teams have had that as far as we knew. Okay, how about here? Stab in the chest with a ski pole. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. But here? Looks like a contract. Yes. The green land for this wolf to buy 40% of the first land clean sky. Okay, I know this. It's just jealousy of another investor. It's cabbage who stabbed him. She was faster than me than I was. That's my friend, but... Yes, Mr. Cabbage is the only investor. Mr. Cabbage stabbed him because he wasn't going to invest. There's a ski bag she was carrying. No signs of ski skis. Interesting. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Mrs. Wolf's ticket. Papers with Rousseau. It comes as camera footage. Um, let's go for the origin. Tracing the origin. So I guess... That's it from here? Um, from this ski bag? That wasn't right. How about this guy? The ticket must have come from Mrs. Wolf. Duh, it's her freaking ticket. It was her ticket after all. Okay. 
I've determined the origin of the ticket. Investigate the scene. The case file is now complete. All the events have been found. The suspects have been interviewed. The victim has been examined. Because of Anaga, we don't have an autopsy report, which means we need to figure it out ourselves. But none of us are experienced with that. We give her a chance to catch up with us later. It's time to figure this mystery out. Okay. Shrews nodded. Were you less convinced? Each round had a special place to make the deductions called the mystery stage. I admit I was heading there a bit prematurely. But I didn't want to stand out in the cold any longer. The others followed me as we stepped inside. You have entered the mystery stage. Everything I say from this point will be monitored and recorded. Once you have stated your solution, say submit deduction. And then consider the revised version of the deduction, so if you got something right and change later, that's on you. In 20 minutes to submit the deduction. Begin whenever you wish. I'm worried we won't have enough time. The person can figure out right now. There's already all the evidence. There's no way to solve your crime. Well, perhaps that's a good place to start. Then why you think so? I thought we found all of the evidence. There's no way of knowing who the murderer was. The skull is going to stand with both at the crime scene. You're probably going to say they both did it. There's something that points to that. Um, we could go for. Hmm. Nothing points to Mrs. Lamb and Mr. Cabbage working together. Ooh, a contract? For Mrs. Wolf to buy 40% of shares to Lamco. Um. I think the shares business card and her statement of the CEO. Nothing that points to cabbage and lamb working together. Maybe you're wrong. So as some proof then. There was an anything super concrete that could prove me wrong. There was something that Miss Lamb have to have lied about. Ah I came back down at 1.30 to look for the person I was going to meet. Okay. Um, what, what did it say to the ticket here? Is this one? Miss Lab said my not seeing Miss Cabbage was suspicious. Ooh. Okay. Came back down to look person to meet and catch our meeting. I got there at exactly 1.30. Ooh. Let me see here. Ooh, I think this is it, the security footage. <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It's this one, because the ticket. He should have met because the tickets are 130, right? Mr. Kaiju took a sky at 1.35. Miss Lamb came down at 1.30. Their statements about the meeting are suspicious. I have some evidence that shows both of them were in the same place. Um, is this... Okay, 1.35. Came back down 1.30. That's Mrs. Lamb. And maybe CCTV? Ah, what the hell? Okay. I, okay, you know what? I'm gonna save here. I'm gonna save. Just in case I fail this. I rev about, I rev about one. Is this it? Okay, let's load. Nope, let's load. Um, I think it's...
this. Wait, wait, wait. This. And this? Hmm. Working at the same place. Is this... Are these three here? No, 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 no. Let's look. Hmm. Hold on, let me think about this. I came back down at 1 30 to look for the person I was going to meet and cancel our meeting. My meeting was cut short. Meeting was cut short. In this three? Skyride. Miss Lamb came down at three. There's things about the meeting are suspicious. Let me see here. So Miss Ca so Mr. Cabbage Sky was 135. And Lamb is 115 and 145. Okay, so this is true. <coughs> hmm. Hold on. Wait, wait, I think I figured it out. Okay, it took me a while to hear about this, but check this out. Um, came back down at 1.30 to look for a person to cancel our meeting. Got there exactly at 1.30. However, if you check at 1.30... Where is it? Here. 130. They are supposed to meet, right? Because this person's sky ride is 145. Mr. Lamb. And Mr. Dude here, Cabbage here, at 134. So meaning in between these two moments, they could have met, right? Wait, what? Hold on. Let's do that again, shall we? Um, security footage. Came back down one thirty. I got to exactly one thirty. Yes. Perhaps you should have taken that time to put more thought in that, eh? Oh. So right. Miss Lamb said she didn't see him. It would make sense if he bought the sky ride at the same time she did. But it clear went out after she'd come down. Isn't it strange? Her meeting was for one thirty. And he arrived within five minutes and board the sky ride in plain view. How could she not spot him? Was she staring at the wall? I think she's lying. Okay, so maybe she met with him. However, it does prove they're working together. It must make Miss Lamb suspicious. We don't know why she would lie about meeting Mr. Cabbage. There's no reason for her to do so. Was there really no reason for Miss Lamb about working with Mr. Cabbage? No. Contract? Perhaps he should have taken that time to put more thought into that, eh? Oh, I should have. Remember that contract? Hmm? I don't get it. The contract was inside, so it's very fine for it to meet with Miss Cabbage to discuss our options, right? Exactly, it wasn't signed. Therefore, Miss Wolf and Miss Lamb were about to sign it, which means their talks must have been at their closing point. And yet, Miss Lamb has scheduled a meeting with Mr. Cabbage, another investor. They see. You're right, Arba. It's suspicious. But this land doesn't have a motive, right? She was about to close the deal against this wolf. Why would she kill her? There's no motive for Miss Lamb to kill Mrs. Wolf. She was about to close the deal. Uh huh. Let me see here. What are the motives? How about this? Yes. Lambo cream? You think you have a point. 
I do think I have a point. Remember, Adan told us the thing is full of toxic substances. Do you think anyone would buy this product? I wouldn't. It's gross. You're right. Yes, so? Miss Will found out about how many toxins were in her product, she would have backed out, right? A big investor like her would have scared away all of the others. In summary, my thing is this. Miss Wolf confronted Miss Tam with their concerns about the product when she arrived. Miss Tam had planned for this, and had lined up Miss Carriage for a meeting afterwards just in case. But Miss Wolf threatened to tell him and everyone else. Oh! You were stunned by your brilliant deduction. That sounds about right. Yes. But there's just one thing. Miss Tam didn't really have time to kill Miss Wolf, did she? This fight takes about 5 and a half minutes. Miss Tam went at one thing and came back down to 1.30. Should I like 3 minutes at most? Is it that really enough time to be confident with Mrs. Wolf to her over to a superior guy and pierce her with a ski pole? No. Muffin and bag? Nope. What if Mrs. Wolf wasn't just stabbed? Poison and the cream. Yes, it wasn't stab, it was freaking poison, the muffin. How does it have to do with anything? Well, Miss Lam may have not even time to stop, but you offered them a muffin. Do you think it was poison? How can you, the muffin wasn't poison, but as we the Lambo cream is full of toxins, and it looks like a lot of frosting. Yeah, no, I don't like this, yes. She spread a lot of Lambo cream muffin, gave it to Miss Wolf, and brought herself some time. Then she went back out, found that Mr. Wolf hadn't died. That's when she stabbed her. That muffin has no cream in it. So, ah, that's because the muffin we found belongs to Mrs. Lamb. She got herself a muffin too, but a non frosted one. Mrs. Wolf ate her entire poison muffin. That was the wolf's meal. She can muffin for herself as well, but it seemed less suspicious. You've convinced me. Hmm, I don't know. I have an autopsy report first. Well. Okay, she's back, guys. She's fine. I believe she's fine. I can't help with that. I was able to push majority of his striking from my system. Don't tell me more, please. I've examined the victim. Here's the autopsy report. Cause of death on a clear time 1 to 2. External. With sharp point, you're saying severe hemorrhaging, having poison. Okay. Summary, okay. So she was poisoned. I read her. Does this help? Yes. Think I know. One more thing. The muffin at the same was poisoned, right? The muffin is snow. No, it was three of any. Did she eat it? You learned out a possible scenario. Let's submit it then. Okay, submit. Submit. Wait a second. Something didn't feel right. Because if I didn't ask, I would probably regret it. What? I would like to put the pieces together, but sometimes I, that means I rush. If I wasn't careful, that could be my undoing. What do you mean? Did you know that what poison was in the victim system? It was funny coincidence. Just like me, Miss Wolf had also been playing with small dose of strike night. So it's easy for me to recognize. But that's going to throw off my theory. Poison and stab. They really want to make sure it's dead. Darka, strike night wasn't in a Lambo cream. It's not ideal. Huh. Game Master was a bit lenient about their solutions. We could, we could get a decal wrong and he would find. However, if she didn't use Tamukin, Game Master was wrong about how toxic it was. And if I was wrong about that, then the rest of my theory fell apart. My entire theory did rest on Lambo Cream after all. There's something breathing behind me. It's him. Tato's back. Okay, what's your power? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's not yet done. Let's save here. File 1, Chapter 4. The uh, down sh thought she'd come up with the right solution to a mystery until Adam's autopsy revealed a huge problem. But with Tad's awake, we might have a chance to turn around. Yes, final deduction. A few times I talked to Tad, I'm impressed with his insights. I wonder what fascinating knowledge he would share. Maybe he could turn this around. Okay, what, what's your power? He's asleep. I mean, meditating it. Oh, well. Back to the matter and... Lerko, I know. Maybe it could still be defended. It doesn't change much. And a sacrifice helped prove it. Even if it wasn't spread the cream, Miss Lamb still had motive to kill Miss Wolf. 
You don't see the difference, huh? Alright, let me just drink a coffee here. While doing this. As a detective, I must have my daily dose of caffeine. As I said, no difference. Mm -hmm. Just a different poison. If she had that. If she had access to Strap 9, why would she come back at 2 p.m. and stab her? She would just get away with a higher dose of Strap 9. Uh, you must be using my own tactics against me. Perhaps it was to create an alibi? No, it would only make her look more suspicious. So that I killed her than simply left and let Mr. Carter discover her body. Everyone knows that we will return to the crime scene of the murder unless they're absolutely necessary. Maybe Miss Lamb is not a very good murder. Maybe. Even I was buying my own words. Wasn't there anything else that I could do? Okay. <gasps> um, what voice? Okay, let's do an old man voice. Let's try it. Try an old man voice. Once upon a time. Excuse me? Uh, okay, I can't do an old man voice. Uh, uh. There was a farmer who purchased a wolf. A lamb and a cabbage at the market. But returning home, he came across a river. In his little boat, he could only take one of his items across with him. But, if he left the wolf with the lamb, the wolf would eat it. And if he left the lamb with the cabbage, the lamb would eat it. So he could safely carry all three of his items to the other side. Oh, I've heard this one before. Wolf, lamb, cabbage? Exactly. This entire mystery contains a massive hint. The game master is practically telling us the solution. Well, the solution of the particular puzzle? Doesn't fit here, I know. It sounds like you have a theory. I do. Then let's hear it. You Consider it this way. Larka must be wrong. Because the lamb cannot eat the wolf. A lamb cannot eat the wolf. Hmm. Okay. Entrepreneur, owner of Lamb Queen CEO. Is this it? Uh, this was the meta hint to read. As they have a bad habit of. Uh-huh. Oh, it is. Cabbage. I think when I considered it, you are actually wrong. Because if Miss Lamb didn't kill Mrs. Wolf, you're trying to suggest Mr. Cabbage did? But find your own logic, Mr. Cabbage cannot eat Mrs. Wolf. He's a cabbage. You're thinking it too literally. I invite you to consider the relationship between the components of the puzzle. Wolf eats lamb, lamb eats cabbage. Wolf and cabbage are neutral. They don't care about one another, right? Right. He doesn't care, so he has no motive. But what if it's something did make Mr. Cabbage care? Like what? You said yourself earlier, the contract. If Mr. Cabbage overheard Mrs. Lamb, Mrs. Wolf talking, He'd know that Miss Wolf was about to become a huge shareholder in the company. Miss Lamb overheard Miss Lamb and Miss Wolf discussing a contract. Hmm. No, it was cut short. What? Mr. Cabbage cannot have known about the contract because. Hmm. This? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's maybe this one. What? Mr. Cabbage wasn't there when Miss Lamb met Miss Wolf, and one of his statements shows it. 
Oh, I got the exact 130. Oh, fair enough. I was stupid. Gabby showed me my exact 130. He didn't go up until 135. That's after Miss Lamb, Miss Wolf met, which could be around 120. So he would not have over them, right? Exactly 130. Think about it this way. If Gabbage was not a killer, they put all his statements into doubt. We will have no solid evidence that he arrived at 130. Hold on a second. Who cares about this statement? What about the camera footage? It's better proof the enemy statement. Are you sure about that? You're the one who said the keypad was secure but was simple. You weren't given all the footage. The sky doesn't start running at all time like doing. Okay, true, but. The sky is clearly in the footage going up. He can't be going up with also coming down, right? So you're saying he tapered with the timestamp? Hmm. Oh! He went up twice! It wasn't possible. Hmm. Let me see. How about this? The time? What can't be tampered? Uh, Mr. Cabbage is clear in this footage going up. Are you saying he tampered with a timestamp? Is this this one? Mr. Cabbage arrived 134. This one? Hmm, wait, you know what? I'll say we're just in case. Is it this one? What the hell? Is it this one? Uh, nope. Is it the clock? What the hell? It's a clock? Why? The clock refers to the exact time. He would have changed them both the clock and the time step. Oh. Ah, okay. Well, now there's too much issue. Fine, I'll start over then. This camera is clearing the footage going up. He couldn't have gone up. Without also coming down, or seeing also each of the footage of itself coming down. And so far, on the top of matter around 12, and Mr. Lamb about 121. According to the theory, he could have heard speak of a contract. He need to come back down after that. There are five minutes between Miss Lamb, Board, Skyride to leave a mountain top, and we see him going, going up. Skyride takes five and a half minutes, and there will be broken and there is some footage. He's gonna have enough time to go back down the mountain. Hmm. But his meeting was cut short. I understand. It was an impressive argument. This was it. This issue of the new three. I had to be able to get mountain faster. Ah, the ski! Ah, uh, what? Oh, 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 oh! Ski bag. Thank you, game tips. You may want to reconsider your premise. There's a piece of evidence that we never talk about. The ski bag. We all know it's full when Miss Wolf went up. But now it's empty. Wait, you mean? Yes, we got it. You've got it, Larica. He skied down the mountain. No need for him to ice any more footage. Ah, I see. I'm on board with this new theory now. We need to read him something. There was a problem. Could I know we to have seen him murder for a good reason. Mr. Cabbage went back up at 1.35. What was your reason? Mm -hmm. Was it... Hmm. Let me see. Was it because of the blood? Oh, 
Oh, did he forget the muffin? It was his muffin? What if he was there to plant the muffin? Oh. Okay. But and I told us it was not poison. I think it was planted to throw us off. That muffin is not the muffin Mrs. Wolf ate. And Mr. Cash forgot to put there the first time. That's why he returned. That's possible. Sorry to do this, Larga. But some there's something. Go ahead. We've been assuming he poisoned and stabbed her at the same time. To really make sure she was dead. But as you were talking, I realized that the body was found buried in the snow. I hadn't been there when you discovered you see, so I'd been left in the open air. If she was buried in the snow, the poison dissolved slower. That changes my estimation of when she was poisoned slightly earlier from 1 p.m. to 2 to 12 to 1. Um, excuse me. Team Tads. 20 minutes are up. You'll have to submit your deduction now or I've kicked you and called us. Sorry. Cap, I just thought we had it. We have to probe my way to answer. You can do it, Arthur. If you think so, then I do as well. Yeah. Please tell me we didn't just ruin everything. I didn't ruin everything. Okay. Could do it. Ready to submit? I am. Great. We'll have to hear team solution. Okay. Mr. Cabbage arrived early. Let's say 11.45. Okay, let's save this here before we do anything. This planting... Wait, hold on. Let's do that again, shall we? Mr. Cabbage arrived early. Let's say 11.45. Okay, let's do this. We decided to kill Mrs. Lamb with this one. Hmm, that's my chance, I'm sorry. We decided to kill Mrs. Lamb with the cream. Um, what? With the muffin? Poisoned muffin, which he was later going to stop with a non poisoned muffin. However, when he got down here, he saw that big time investor was waiting for someone too. Um. Wolf. When he asked her about it, Miss Wolf told him too much. She even talked about that. Um, what was that? This one? A contract agreement? Yes. So he decided to poison her instead. With this. Instead of the person he was waiting to meet. Which was... Mrs. Lamb. So leaving Miss Wolf heaving, he quickly left the scene using some stolen equipment, which is this. Miss Lamb arrived and bought the ticket. This. But when she got to dub, she actually never met the person she was going to meet. Which was supposed to be Cabbage, right? Oh, wait. Which is this. Why, which is this one? Who was Mrs. Wolf, not Mr. Cabbage, as we assume. Meanwhile, Mr. Cabbage had snuck into the security booth. Finished every single footage of himself arriving. But then he realized he'd forgotten to plant the unpoisoned muffin at the scene. So he went back up again. Oh, so this is where... So this is where he bought the ticket. Once he got there, though, he was horrified to discover Mrs. Wolf was not dead yet, convulsing on the ground from the poison. So he finishes the job with a stick. By stabbing her, finally he went to cut a deal with Miss Lamb about her product. Because he was an investor. What? Ooh. Unfortunately, their meeting was cut short when someone discovered the body. I think that covers everything. But is there any way to prove Mrs. Mr. Cabbage was there earlier? But maybe there was a piece of that could lead to a final proof of investing. Ah, yes. Miss Cash purchased something at the nearby restaurant. This one. When they got the receipt of mouth, you can confirm he was here there earlier. Yes, finally. We did it. <clears throat> oh my god. Ooh, my final score sucks. Amazing. Well, we still got an A. Hey, congrats, Team Tads. Looks like you did it. 
Alright, so our mystery stage shut off one by one. Could hear Strauss sighing louder behind. Just one that is not my favorite part of the mystery solving either. Yes, it was me. I murdered Mrs. Wolf. My entire savings are riding on making a life-changing investment. I plan to kill Mrs. Lamb to become the sole owner of Lamb's screams. Until I met Mrs. Wolf. If Mrs. Wolf got her first, she would have a massive stake in the company. I couldn't risk it. Lambo cream will hit it big. I had to have it all. If only ha the body had been discovered so quickly, my life was gonna change. Cabbage? Lamb? Where have you been? I was trying to tell you. My cosmetic notification form was just rejected by Health Canada. It has too many toxic stuff. It can't be approved for sale. What? Are you telling me I did this all for nothing? Did what? I guess murder is bad. Duh. The lights came back and the actors left the stage. Okay. That's a very long time. Now that was a real actor. She have a tear from her cheek. I'm glad you love it. Do you know that I have a way of racking this mystery by difficulty? This mystery was rated one star. I see the hardest difficulty. No, I'm afraid the one star is the easiest. What? Don't worry about it. You figure it out in the end, even if it took the whole hour. Let's see how you did. Juice was on the screens. Second place, not bad. Time's up on this mystery. We're back into a solution. The answer was soon and first. The problem has been cured. Perfect trace to the conclusion. That's very nice. So let me, so let me tell you more about the stage. The theme for your stage is usefulness. Now be asked to vote. Who in your team is the most useless? Okay, that's you first. Oh, sorry. Vote here. Step in the booth. Who's the most useless? The one more malicious. The most number of we you really saying that you ever had a purpose. Had been true before, but the stage will us down. I truly believe every single member of the team was contributing. But abstaining was not an option. Who to vote for? Who was useless? You cracked the code. You are really important because you helped everything. You got the poison. You made me think. I think it's you, right? Maybe the safest choice was truce. Oh no, I got I got the achievement. In terms of mystery, all she done was open the door and complain. Which also helped me prove my theory. And well too late. I already voted for her. I have the boot rate them one by one. A very interesting answer to my very interesting question. Thanks. You can share answers with each other or not. It's up to you. Please depart in the sky ride within the next five minutes so that the X team will not be disturbed. Bye now. Phew, I'm so relieved. Me too. How are you feeling, Adeline? I'll need to take additional measures back at the hotel. I'll tell you, I won't get into details. Too bad your code's not finished, Truce. But I hope you took down the other team's stats. He was straight off as if he was smirking. Hey, my code has worked since yesterday. I was just saying that to throw off the game master. As you know, he's always listening. Wow. And I underestimated her again. I was regretting my vote. No! That's why I got my training. You weren't just doing annoying after all. Yeah, every time I'm ignoring the feature, you can assume it's because I have some secret agenda. Good to know. Oh, you forgot to say, I learned. That's it. What is it now, yes? I didn't hack anything, though. I went to program isn't the same as hacking. You know that, right? Of course. You just told you. This means we have to accurate list of all the teams. I've been trying to figure out the points system as well. So we should be able to predict how to get as many points as possible based on our past rankings and point totals. Well, that's too complex to think about for me, but have fun. Um, I will. We should head out. I can feel the Game Master is looking at us with irritation. Indeed. I left the mystery stage. We will lock him behind me. Did you enjoy being a leader, Larka? Hmm? Did you enjoy it? Did you? I did enjoy it. But does it matter if you thought I did a bad job? Why? Because a leader should tease everyone at all times. So you weren't pleased then? Are you trying to please everyone? No, I was trying to keep up within the time limit. The best way to please everyone is to meet our goals. You're not that cool. Yes. 
So you are pleased? You know the answer then? Yes, I suppose I do. I don't really have an idea which you may meant I fact in no. You join the rest of the team? Should be nice to know everyone both if if they are all this pleased with me as V was, but I never found out. File one, chapter five. Overlook office part one. The mysterious game master has collected the team's votes. So look inside the office and your workings of the contest as the first round of stage four ends. Uh huh. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end this one right here because at least we finished the mystery, and I would not like to spoil any of the other stuff in Canada, Canada Files. So I hope you enjoyed this very long video. Hope you stayed through it till the end. If you did, I appreciate you so much, and I hope you enjoyed the game as well. Be sure to check out the links in the description below. Be sure to like this video as well, and. Be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every day. Be sure to check them out and leave down comment helps the algorithm. And I will see you guys next time. See ya.